So issue 4 of the Boom Studios Power Rangers series was released today. It continued the adventures of the Omega Rangers, Jason, Zack and Trini with Draken. If you need to catch up before we get into this issue, I covered the last three issues on the channel, so make sure to check those out first. Okay, let's get into issue 4. So it starts with the Rangers and Draken arriving on Draken's created homeworld. It's broken down and abandoned. Jason holds his sword to Draken's throat and tells him to convince the Rangers that they have not made a huge mistake in breaking him out of the command center. We see here that Draken is talking to Saba. We can't see Saba, but Draken says, yes Saba, he has gotten feisty. Draken then tells the Rangers that he took them to the coordinates of where the Red Emissary died, just as they wanted him to but the coordinates must have shifted. He tells them not to worry as he will protect them. Zack then asks him why in his created world did Draken make him a reporter. Draken responds by saying that they already had a janitor. The pair argue about the creation and existence of the world, with Draken stating that it was a paradise and that everyone loved him, there was no war, no hunger or poverty. Zack responds by saying that they have very different ideas of what it means to be free. They then come across a giant energy tiger, which is supposedly an energy manifestation of the morphing grid, originally created to destroy the world, but after the emissaries decided to lock Draken in it, they just became his jailers. After realizing that Draken is supposed to be there and that they are the intruders, the rangers attempt to run and hide from the giant energy tiger. Zack and Trini make it into a pool underneath the statue of Draken, covering their scent from the tiger, and Jason is split off from the group. On the next page, Jason crawls out from under some rubble to find the remains and pieces of the Red Emissary. Next, as Zack and Trini search for a now missing Draken, they come across what looks like a Red Sentry, but made out of sporting goods. Then inside what must have been Draken's throne room, they discover an entire room of sentries, all chanting Lord Draken. Draken then reappears and takes out all of the sentries that he created. After taking all of them out by himself, he tells the rangers that time doesn't really exist on this world. No days or seasons, no life and no death, just never ending existence. Trini assures Draken that although he is clearly ashamed of what he has made, no one is judging him for it. He tells them that he doesn't need their pity and that no one was ever meant to see this world other than... But before he can finish that sentence, an energy bear bursts onto the scene. It's distracted by Zack, who is instantly squashed by the bear. But it turns out that Zack had just made a version of himself out of the leftover sentry gear. The trio are soon rescued by, again, still don't know the name, whether it's supposed to be she or Eleven, uh, and Jason, who is already aboard the ship. They then manage to escape the beast by flying in between the remains of the Dragon Zord and the White Tiger Zord. After gathering the pieces of the Red Emissary, I'm going to go with XI this time, puzzles them together to discover there is a piece missing. They decide they need to find the Imperial as it likely took the missing piece as a souvenir. Before starting this next adventure, Draken says that they will need to get some repairs done on the ship. He informs them of a place he knows nearby and says that if they thought this place was bad, they ain't seen nothing yet. The issue then ends with a bunch of what I'm guessing are just alien bad guys playing what looks like a poker game called Zinta, I think. The winner is then shot, and the remaining monsters then talk about something around that even the Alliance of Evil is scared of. The skull cowboy looking guy responds by saying he doesn't care as long as they stay away from Onyx. Okay guys, that is issue 4. What did you think of this issue? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I was a little disappointed by this one. When they arrived at Draken's homeworld at the end of issue 3, I thought there was going to be loads of cool possibilities and stuff to show, but it just didn't really happen. I felt like the time on this world was rushed away by those energy animals. Massive, wasted opportunity in my opinion. At the same time, I am still looking forward to seeing what happens next. There's always this constant on-edge feeling when you have a wild card like Draken leading the group. And I am enjoying the dynamic between him and the rangers. I'll be covering issue 5 of this and Mighty Morphin next month, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see those. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day, may the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.